Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 283, the third question in the list is create binary tree from description. Here in this question we are given a 2D array wherein each description element has three properties in it. The first one is a parent, the second one is its child and the third one signifies whether this child happens to be the left child or the right child of the given parent. What we need to do, we need to construct the binary tree after walking through these description elements that we have. Also in the end, we finally need to return its root. So here they have provided us with the example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algo to go about it via the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Create binary tree from description, lead code 2196. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, if you are aware of hash map techniques, you can rate this question somewhere in between easy and medium category. It's not that tricky. Although it was the third question of the contest. I believe the second question was way difficult than this one. Let's take the same example that was specified in the question. And also in the question, it was specified that all the node values would be unique in nature. That simply means corresponding to a particular val, there will be one singular node. We can use this property and this gives us a hint that we need to use maps for keeping track of what all nodes have been created. And we can use this to actually retrieve if the nodes were already created in the past. What I'm trying to say, let's have a look by an example. Here I've created the hash map. The integer would be the val and corresponding to a particular value will store that nodes entry. Along with this, we will keep track of what all child nodes have been created so far in the past. This will help us identify the root of the binary tree. So let's get started. The first element that we see is 20. It will is a parent. This is a child and this is a left child. So we see that 20 is not part of the hash map. As a result, what we should do, we should create a new node named 20. So we go ahead and create 20. Along with this, what do we do? We add this node into the hash map. So 20 comma node of 20 gets added into the hash map. Pretty simple and straightforward. No rocket sign so far. Along with this, what do we see? We see 15. So it's 15 part of the hash map. It's not part of the hash map. Along Therefore, we'll go and create a new node 15. And since it's a left child, we will attach 20's left to 15. Pretty simple and straightforward. Along with this, we'll add 15 comma node of 15 into the hash map. Also, there's another thing that we need to do. Since it's a child node, we'll add 15 into our child set. So all this will signify what all nodes have been added as children in our complete binary tree. So let's proceed ahead. Next we see is a P as 20, child as 17, and it's the right child. So we do we do we see the node corresponding to 20? Yes, we do see. That simply means we'll not create a new node this time. So let's extract it up. We have extracted us out. Do we see 17 in the hash map? Uh, yeah, no, it's not there. As a result of which we'll create 17. Uh, we'll create the new node and we'll add it to our hash map. So it's get added and next what we are going to do, we will simply attach 20's right to 17. Pretty simple and straightforward, no rocket science so far. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 50 as parent, child as 20 and this is a left child. So do we see 50 in my hash map? No, it's not there. So we'll go and create 50. And what we will do? We'll then check whether 20 is part of the hash map. 20 is part of the hash map. So we'll reutilize this value. We created the new node 50 and we extracted a child node from the hash map. We'll go now attach parents left to 20. So parent happens to be 50. We'll attach its left to 20. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 50, 80 and 0. Is 50 part of the hash map? Yes, it is part of the hash map. So we'll reuse it. Is 80 part of the hash map? No, it's not. So we'll go now create a new node 80. And let's add 80 to the hash map. So it gets added and 80 gets added. Along with this, what we will do, we'll fix parents right to 80 because here it signifies right. Pretty awesome. Along with this, the next entry that we see is 80, 19 and 1. So this is acting as a parent. This is acting as a child. This is acting as a right child and let's extract 80. 80 gets extracted from the hash map because it's already present. So we have the parent reference. 19 is not part of the hash map. As a result of it, we'll create it. 
19 gets added and we have created a new node 19 and let's attach 80s right to 19. With this we have appropriately added all our nodes into our hash map and what do you see here? You see there that the tree has been successfully created with this iteration. Now comes the question how can you identify the root of the binary tree? It's simple and straightforward. Sorry I missed adding uh, the child nodes in my child set but we can add it right now itself. So 15 will be there, 17 will be there, 19 will be there, 80 will be there, 20 will be there. So all this would be part of my set. We have 20, we have 15, we have 17, we have 19, we have 80. So consider all of these elements as part of the set because all of them are acting as the child nodes. And this is my entire set. What we will do, we will reiterate through this input description array that is given to us and we will look out for that particular entry which is not acting as the child node which will come out to be 50. So you can start the iteration uh, one by one over the parent and you will simply check whether at what value is that parent not part of my child nodes. So that comes out to be 50 in this case. Here 20 is part of the child node, 20 is part of the child node so we will simply skip it. We get 50, 50 is not part of the child node as a result of it this becomes the root of the binary tree there will be only one such node. To conclude it further, let's quickly have a look at the coding section and I'll exactly follow the same steps as I have talked here. I have created the map, I have created the child set, I start the iteration and I extract the parent integer value, child integer value and I check if it is the left child or not. I add my current uh, child integer value to the child set and I extract the parent node from the map. If it is not there, then I create it. If it is my left child, I attach parents node dot left to the node that is already present as at child int value in my map. If it is not there, I simply create a new node and I add it to my map. So this is important child int comma parent node dot left. Else I go and create uh, parents node at uh, parents node right end uh, in on very similar lines. Once I am done with this, I push or put a parent int comma parent node back into my map. This logic corresponds to finding out the root of the binary tree that we have built in the upward iteration. Uh, by default, let's initialize root to minus one. As I start the iteration over the description array, I check if my current value is not present in my child set, I break it up and I simply return the corresponding node with the root that has been identified here. So let's try this up. Accepted. With this, we, th we have completed the third question of the contest. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.